If you're doing any kind of sales prospecting with cold email, the very first step is getting somebody's valid email address. Now, the problem is there are a lot of tools out there that say they can do this for you. Like they can find the emails and then they can also verify the emails. But a lot of them are just filled with these false promises. And a lot of the times what they say isn't actually true. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what's working today. And I'll walk you through the fastest way to find anybody's valid email address so you can spend less time digging through these boring admin tasks and more time actually booking meetings with your dream customers and make sure you watch till the end because if you don't know this exact workflow like you could literally waste hours doing it the manual way when the shortcut is right here so if you're ready for this video hit the like button and subscribe let's get right into it so the very first thing that we should cover is free versus paid right like should your company actually invest in software to find these email addresses? Or can you find a way to do it 100% for free? Now, from my experience, paying for software a lot of the times is worth it. It saves a lot of manual work. And more importantly, it protects your email deliverability. But here is what I would recommend right now. Start for free using the method I'm about to share with you and then prove that your product or service actually works through cold email. And then if it does work, try to find a way to scale this up and find the best paid plans for the level of scale that you wanna go, however many emails you wanna start sending. This is what I always use to start out with because you get 100 emails completely for free. And even the founders of instantly.ai and smartly.ai both publicly shared how much they like using this method and this tool. And these are two of the biggest cold email platforms in the world. And even if you're using this method that I'm about to share and you're only sending 100 cold emails, like that is more than enough to land your first customer. But it really depends how expensive your product or service is. If you have a high ticket product, you can definitely try to get the most out of using this method to send only 100 emails a month. But if you have a low ticket product, it might not really make sense. You might have to scale up the volume. So to use this method, all you have to do is click the link in the comment section below and sign up with your work email. Here I'm inside of a fresh find email account. And this is what everybody gets on day one. They're 100 credits, no matter what. Now I've been using this platform since 2022, since I first heard about it to actually find anybody's valid email address, all you have to do is go to the bulk enrichment tab right here and you can upload a CSV, right? This would work perfectly if you have a list of websites that you'd like to work with and you essentially just need to find the right contact at these websites and you also wanna find and verify their email address. So all you have to do is literally just tell Find Email what you want and you get these 100 emails completely for free. In this case, let's go with founder, CEO, and president, right? And this is the CSV that I ended up using. It's just 100 random websites. Now, Find Email will return at maximum one contact per company with their valid email address. Now we hit start and Find Email goes to work, right? And like I said, like this is more than enough to land your first customer right? 100 free valid emails to essentially just test your offer. Like I said, All right, so cool. Here are the results. Um, we uploaded 100 websites of companies that we want to work with and then find email found their valid email address. And it also found about 78 contacts, which is awesome. 78 contacts with valid email addresses. That's about a 78% valid enrichment rate. And if you look at these leads, like we're not getting any sort of info at company or sales at company. Like these are actual contacts at these companies and it's their valid email address. Now, some of the companies kind of hide staff on LinkedIn or they don't list these roles. So if a few rows don't return anybody, I mean, that's completely normal. But overall, this saves you so many hours compared to manually searching on Google or LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and it's completely free. Like every email here is already validated, it's ready to send. And like I said, this is the free method that you can use to kind of test your offer. And if you're inside of the platform and you just wanna find anyone's valid email address and you already have their full name and their website, you can just go to this section right here, which is the email finder single section, put in their full name, put in their website, and then find email is going to go out there and find their email address. And then it's going to validate that email address at the same exact time. And the great part about this method is that find email checks mailbox existence at the server level because it has built-in catch-all verification. And by the way, like, don't worry if you don't know what that means. It's just a fancy way of saying that it's going to keep your bounce rate low and make sure that your emails actually land in the inbox. And if you're running at scale, by the way, tens of thousands of records in your sales CRM, like here's the reality, like a lot of the times, like every 30 days, big chunk of your data in your CRM is going to go bad. 
there's job changes, there's outdated titles, there's invalid contacts. That's why there's a free health check in the description below. We're gonna show you not just the data that goes bad in your CRM, but we're also gonna use find email to shine a light on the hard to find contacts in your CRM so you can actually keep booking leads that you can actually act on. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like and a subscribe and check out the comment section below for a bonus video. Thanks so much for watching and I recommend watching this video next.